Indianapolis in 1912, horses and buggies, streetcars and automobiles shared the downtown streets. Women in long skirts and men in suits shopped at Wasson's department store and con tailoring. And a new Memorial Day tradition was taking hold, the second running of the Indianapolis 500. The race was held on Thursday, May 30th, and under new rules, riding mechanics became mandatory in each car. Out of 29 entries, 24 cars qualified for the race by reaching speeds of at least 75 miles per hour for one lap. Norway's Gil Anderson was on the pole, but only because he was the first entry, not the fastest. Ralph De Palma built an incredible five and a half lap, 11 minute lead over second place and led the race for 196 laps. But then his number four Mercedes began misfiring and losing power. With just over one lap to go, De Palma and his mechanic entered motor racing lore when they climbed out of the car and began pushing at five eighths of a mile toward the finish line. That opened the door for Joe Dawson. He took the checkered flag after running in second for most of the race, the first Hoosier to win. On the road to 100, Chris Proffitt, RTB6.